Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer on this uh, Christmas day. It's been a couple of uh, good days up at Steamboat taking the uh, the cake for the most snow. They got 27 inches in the last two days up there in Steamboat out of that uh, storm system that merged over uh, Wyoming and Colorado. Now that storm is moving away, but on the back side of it, it does look like we're going to get some return moisture in parts of Colorado on uh, 1226. I'll show you that coming up in a second. Um, I want to take you to Whistler Blackcomb. You're on the, the precipice of what's going to be some heavy snow coming coming this afternoon, tonight, and probably over the next two or three days. BC, Pacific Northwest, pretty rich flow headed in that direction. So let me show you my uh, bullet points here. So as far as what lies ahead, we've got uh, some wraparound moisture moving back into Colorado on 1226. In fact, the clouds will probably increase across the state to, tonight. And then it's mainly kind of continental divide east on 1226. And then over the eastern plains, add some wind into that and probably have some blowing snow. Pacific Northwest BC, there's that snow pattern coming 1225 uh, this afternoon through about 1228. California looks like kind of a light snow 1227 late in the day and light to maybe moderate 1225. 29, 12, 30, and that's for the Tahoe area, uh, primarily in Mammoth. It looks like Shasta will get more. This will be pretty high elevation snow initially. And then looking down the road, there might be a storm system that moves into the interior. This is kind of bounced in and out of the forecast around 12, 30, 12, 31. I'll show you what that could look like coming up. And in the northeast, you've got rain coming with a pretty large storm, a wet storm system, another one of these that's going to bring uh, rain 12, 27, and 12, 28, and potentially that changes to snow on 1229. So that's what lies ahead. Let me take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery here. So here's that uh, that big storm system hitting the Pacific Northwest. That rich flow is really just getting ready to move in Washington State and BC primarily. Um, and then there's another area of low pressure behind it that will bring another shot of moisture a little further down the coast into California. So there's a couple storms lined up at least. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. I want to draw your attention to that departing low sitting out in Nebraska and the heartland. What's actually going to happen on that cyclonic backside, watch um, overnight and tomorrow. Some of that snow kicks back into Colorado, divide east, and it breaks up during the day. Um, and then the low finally moves away. Now look at the Pacific Northwest. Another area of low pressure hits, and that one does uh, push a little bit of light snow into Tahoe, a little heavier up in Shasta. And then it's a waiting game. Most of the interior is dry. Here's 1229. Here comes the next low, and this one should bring a little better snow, light to moderate for Tahoe Mammoth. Um, some good snow for Shasta as well. Let's see what happens here. Late in the day on 1230, it's still sitting there in uh, California. The problem, though, the last two or three days, it looks like these storms hit California, and then they don't survive the trip into the interior. They dry up, unfortunately, so there's nothing left by the time it gets to Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Colorado. Let me show you what the jet pattern is going to look like here. So this is a 1231, very late in the day. This is New Year's Eve. Got some southern branch support, and there might be a little bit of an area of low pressure kind of kind of diving down through Colorado and uh, Utah, but there's not a lot of moisture with it. Um, off to the west, you've got another trough getting ready to move into the west coast. So it's very active for the west coast, BC down um, to California. All right, so here is um, one. This is the 3rd of January, 2024, Southern Branch. The only issue I see here is the Northern Branch has got the cold air locked up into Canada. So that's been an unfortunate shift in the forecast. Looking down the road, it just doesn't look like we're going to draw in or pull in a lot of cold air with that kind of a pattern. Okay, so here are the uh, here's the forecast for 12:31. So this is New Year's Eve in the afternoon evening hours, and you know yesterday it looked like there might be some snow kind of uh, moving through the interior. Now we're kind of back to that drier scenario. There's not a lot here on 12:31. So as far as totals go. Um, here's uh, phase number one, 1225 today through the 27th. A little bit of that wraparound moisture in Colorado could deliver a few inches to the continental divide, the high peaks. Um, potentially, it, it spills over the continental divide into Summit County. We'll see. Um, otherwise, you got to go up to the Pacific Northwest to find the big snow to Whistler, uh, Baker, Rainier, Stevens, and then down into Shasta. Second period here. So you can see the uh, what would be a little bit of light snow there dropping down through southern Utah, southern Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, with that storm on New Year's Eve. Um, some snow for the uh, for the Sierra, not as much as I was hoping. I think if you were to go a little higher, um, this is mid mountains. So if you were to go to higher, I think you'd find some some larger accumulation numbers for Mammoth up to uh, Tahoe during this time period. All right, let me look at the Northeast. So 
It's rain, 1227, 1228, and then it changes over to some light snow, 1229. So that would account for some of this, but what you're also seeing here is snow from further down the road, like on 1, 2, and 1, 3, potentially with an area of low pressure that kind of brushes that area with some light uh, snowfall. So it's a combination. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it on this Christmas Day. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.